Uh, we're going to share this data that we have on our map right now on ArcGIS Online. And the way you do this is you come to File, and you say Share as Service. The difference between Map, Package, and Service, when you share it as service, you're going to publish it directly to ArcGIS Online or existing ArcGIS server. But when you say, I want to share it as a Map Package, it's going to create this map as a package, and this package is going to be saved on your location, on your uh, as a zipped file, and can be used as a reference that you can publish it later, or you can send it to someone by email that they can publish it on ArcGIS server. So I'm going to publish it to our ArcGIS, ser uh, ArcGIS online. Here I'm saying I want to publish the service. And I'm going to select where I want to publish it. But here it tells me that you don't have any servers to publish your uh, map to it because I'm not signed in to my ArcGIS Online account. And in order to do that, I'm going to cancel this one. I'm going to go to File again and sign into my ArcGIS Online as Enterprise ArcGIS Mastery ArcGIS Mastery underscore org password. I'm going to sign in. And now I signed in to ArcGIS Online. It say that I'm signed. If I go back again and try to share it as service and say I want to publish, now I have the option to select I want to publish it to my hosted service on ArcGIS Mastery uh, account on ArcGIS Online. And I'm going to call this one Publish Map. I'm going to continue. And here, uh, is the service editor where you do the analysis for it and you do also the like the actual publishing. And if you want your feature classes, if you want these features to be editable online, you need to come to feature access and say, I want this to have create, delete, and update uh, like capabilities. And you click analyze to make sure you don't have any errors. So here it, it said that you are missing a tags and item description. When you double click on the error, it shows you where you can fix this error. Uh, you can publish a map service as long as it doesn't have a high severity error. Like if you have a, a medium or low, that's okay. But if you have a high one, it's not gonna be published and you have to fix it first. And we fix this one by double click. It goes to the description, summary, publish map. I'm going to add this to the description as well. And I'm going to say analyze again. First error gone. Let's try the second one. And here it said tags, missing tags. OK, I need to add a tag. Analyze again. Base map layer cannot be published directly to service. It tells me that the base map have to be removed because you can add the base map on ArcGIS Online. Now I do analyze again. And I have another high one, but it's not an error, it's a warning. And that's fine, you can actually publish it this way. Now I click Publish on here. Now it's publishing it actually on ArcGIS Online. Just gonna take a few seconds because we don't have a lot of data. If you have a lot of data, it's gonna take longer. And now it finished say, the publishing and it said the service has been published successfully. And when I click OK, I can add my base map again to my MXD right here, just to have it looks like before. And to see this uh, like map service we just published on ArcGIS Online, we're going to log into ArcGIS Online after our base map show up. We're going to save our MXD again. And we are going to go to our browser and go to ArcGIS Online to see our map service there. So here I open my browser. I go to ArcGIS.com. I need to sign in. I'm going to sign to my enterprise account. And here, when you sign in, it shows you the, like the location, uh, the information for the organization. But to see the map I just published, I go to content. And I will see two 
published service here, one called service definition and feature layer. And this is the one we just published right now. If we open it, look, this is like how uh, our data looks like. And now I can open it in a map viewer. And we already have the base map already uh, show up automatically. And what you can do is you can actually do editing online. So you can say, I want to edit the uh, intersections. I want to add a new one here. And a new one here. I can, and you can do editing uh, very similar to how we do it on uh, ArcMap. Close. And you save it. Save map. You need to enter a title for it. I'm gonna call it publish map. You have to add a tag and summary and save it. Now our map is saved. If we go back to the content, we are gonna see that we have a web map and this web map is not shared with anyone, but I can share it with a specific person or with anyone I can make it public. And right now I can send it gives me an error say, do you want to continue on more items? Yes, I want to continue, update. It tells me like, be careful because this is an editable map and if you share it with public, anyone can actually edit it. Uh, so you have to be careful with this. You need to give specific and in RGS online course, we're gonna see how you can give specific permissions to certain users and invite them to edit your map and not make it public because right now this one can be actually uh, edited by anyone. So if I go here and copy this open in my viewer, I can copy this URL and send it to anyone. And when they open this URL, they're gonna see the map exactly like this. So let's go back again to ArcMap. And now we saw how to publish uh, our data to ArcGIS online is by going to file, share as, service, but you make sure that you signed in to your ArcGIS online account. At the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for having the time to watch the video. If you are interested to learn more about ArcGIS products, please go to arcgismastery.com and you will see that we have a lot of selection for online training courses, starting by ArcGIS Desktop and another products like ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so many more. We also have coming courses that you can subscribe to and enroll right now and get a 50% discount. And we will appreciate it if you leave a comment below and let us know what exactly you need to see in this course so we include it in the course for you. And lastly, I will encourage you so much to subscribe to our monthly updates so you can stay updated with what Esri do. At the end, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching this video.